Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching how to boost your FPS and reduce your input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3. A lot of you guys have been saying since the launch of the new season, your FPS has been dropping a lot and there's been a lot of stutters. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix every single bit of that. But make sure you watch the entire video through so that you don't miss any steps of the video because everything I say is super important. Now, let's get right into today's video. Alright guys, so for the first couple steps, we can do it right here from your desktop. So what we're going to do is come down here to little left bottom corner and type in settings open up our settings bar and then the first thing we're going to come over here is go to system and then we're going to come over here to notifications and actions and make sure that is turned off that's going to give you about 20 more fps turn focus assist off as well because it does not help you out and then go over to storage and make sure you have at least 50 extra gigs of storage because without having good amount of storage free it's going to give you much more input delay if you guys need to know how to remove extra extra storage they are probably gonna have a lot of extra gigs of temporary files I know I already have seven gigs but I'm gonna go ahead and remove those just wait till it hits go ahead and click on all of them you can remove every single one and click on that and then just hit remove files that's gonna give me eight extra files so it's just gonna go ahead and do that I'll be right back after it's done purging all of them Alright guys, so that might actually take quite a while to delete those files, but after you've seen it, I have a total of zero bytes that I can remove, so I'll go back, and now I have an extra 8 gigs of storage, which is absolutely amazing, and I did not even know it was there, and it's not going to cost me anything, so make sure you remove all your temporary files. Then we're going to go down here to multitasking, turn that one off, and then we're going to go back to settings, and now we're going to go over here to the gaming and here at gaming we're just going to turn game bar off because this is going to actually be recording your gameplay and if you already have nvidia shadow play or nvidia experience you won't need this at all so it's just going to be using more input delay make sure you have captures off as well and then turn game mode on this makes your pc optimized for playing video games which is super good when it comes to your fps and input delay and finally last in the thing to do in the settings is go over to updates and make sure that you check for updates this might take a while i'm going to go ahead and check for mine so as you can see i have an update available and it's already going to start downloading make sure that you always update your windows but do not uninstall windows 11. windows 11 is terrible for gaming and it will lead to much more fps stutters which is not what you want so make sure you do not download windows 11. if you have downloaded it you can undownload it and stay on windows 10 for now so once you're done updating your actual windows the next thing we're going to do is come down here and we're going to type in g force experience it comes up i'm going to go ahead and open that this is where you actually update your drivers for your gpu i'm going to go ahead and check for updates and make sure that you always have downloaded the actual the latest update and this will give you much more input delay and fps when it comes to fortnite go ahead and download that i'll be right back after that's in download so the last thing to do from your desktop is to go ahead and right click open your nvidia control panel and this is for you nvidia users which is going to be most of you guys go ahead and open this up and then we're going to actually adjust some of the settings the first thing we're going to do is go over here to adjust image settings with preview you're going to go over here to and make sure you use the uh, use the advanced 3d image settings hit take me there it's going to go ahead and bring us over here and then make sure you guys copy all of my settings for the first one image sharpening you want to just click on it it's going to pull this open make sure you have it on and then set it on 0.55 this is going to make sure that your game looks good and also gives you good fps make sure you do not have gpu scaling on and then go ahead and click ok and then all the other ones just go ahead and copy i don't want to talk too much about them because it is a lot of them but just go ahead and copy them i'm going to go ahead and scroll down feel free to pause the video whenever you need to And once you have all those copied, make sure that you click confirm and you save them. Then we're going to go over here to select physics x configuration. We're going to make sure that our GPU, whatever GPU you are playing on, I have a GTX uh, 1650. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to make sure that it is selected to my monitor. I have a SEPTA monitor. So it's going to be direct usage of my GPU to my monitor, which is exactly what you want to do because that reduces your input delay. 
Then we're going to come over here to change resolution and we're going to make sure we are on native and that you have your hertz refresh rate on so that you get the maximum hertz. Mine is a 165 hertz monitor but look it could have been set on 120 accidentally. Most of the time your PC will automatically set you on a wrong refresh rate so make sure that you check that. That could be your problem with your FPS. Once you set it to the correct one hit apply. Go ahead and hit yes. And now we're going to come over here to desktop color settings. We're going to make sure that our div digital bright vibrance. We're going to make sure that our digital vibrancy is set on 75. This is going to make sure that your game looks good and that you can see all the colors in the game. Then we're going to come over here to adjust desktop size and proportion. Make sure you're on aspect ratio and then make sure that you have your refresh rate and your uh, resolution selected as again. Once you have it all good, it's going to make sure that you hit save. And that's going to be all the settings here. Go ahead and close out of that. And now we're going to go ahead and open Fortnite up. All right, guys. So now that we have opened up our Fortnite, there's actually a couple new settings that Fortnite has actually released that we want to go ahead and make sure that we're using and that we are optimized. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my face cam, put it over here on the right side. There we go but what we want to do is make sure that we're on full screen mode this will give you the least amount of input delay 1920 by 1080 or whatever stretch res you play on and then cap your refresh rate to whatever you can get stable the highest amount of refresh rate that you can get stable or fps is going to reduce your input delay because people don't realize the more fps you get the less input delay you're going to get. It's actually a correlation to those, so make sure that you cap it at whatever you get stable. Then put brightness and color mode, that is all preference, but I have heard a lot of people are playing on uh, Deuteronote now. They play on like Deuteronote 7, and then also people are playing on Protonote 5. So go ahead and try those out and see whatever you like. I'm currently going to stay on no colorblind mode. Then put your 3D resolution at 100. This is gonna make your game look better and give you good FPS. View distance on medium and textures on medium. Textures on medium will actually boost your uh, CPU and GPU uses because it will make them work together, which will boost your FPS in total. Meshes, this is actually a preference, but it also means we're gonna go ahead and put it on performance mode. If you're not playing performance mode and you get trash FPS on DirectX 11 or 12, the thing you need to do is switch to performance mode. It's actually game changing how good it is. Then every Everything else you want to just make sure you have vsync off and then meshes high meshes is going to give you more input delay but you will have a bigger advantage when it comes to seeing your opponents through builds low meshes gives you near to actual no input delay whatsoever so i actually play on that but it is up to your preference then make sure you hit apply at the very end and you're all good but before you guys click off the video next thing you want to do is hit alt and then hit z that's going to pull up this GeForce experience. What we're going to do is we're going to turn our instant replay off. We're going to go to settings. And then we're going to make sure that we're only in 1080p HD. If you're on anything above that, it's going to give you so much less FPS and input delay. So make sure that you're on 1080p at the maximum. Cap your FPS at 60. If you're still getting trash FPS, go ahead and drop down to 30. But 60 is the best. Then we're gonna make sure that our video length is on 30 seconds. See how much megabytes that is? That actually affects your random access memory or your RAM. Your RAM is going to be what actually records all this before it's saved. So you need to make sure that you are on a low amount of time so that you will have better RAM usage and it will inherently give you better input delay. Go ahead and hit save and now we can turn it back on. So after this video, if you're still getting bad FPS, you should try playing on a stretch resolution and I actually created a video on how to get the stretch resolution and which is the best one and you can click on that video right here right now.